Hello guys, welcome back to the fifth episode in the series. This one's going to be how to make the click GUI. So this is going to be quite a long episode. So first, it, we're going to go to the screens package. If you don't have it, just make it under UI. Then we're going to make a new package. Call it click GUI. And then a new class, just click GUI. So first we're gonna make a public static click GUI instance. Goes new click GUI. And we can just make this final just because. And then a uh, constructor that we can add stuff in. So, okay, we're going to make this extend screen. So just import this, uh, this loads, okay, import it from this package, let me just delete that and then add this, okay. Um, I don't want this. I'll just say text.literal. Click GUI. Okay. So, we're gonna override a few methods from the screen class. Mainly render. I'm just pressing control space, by the way. And then, uh mouse clicked and I don't think we need key pressed so we'll come back to these in a little bit but now we're gonna make a new class and we'll just call it frame so then we'll do public frame and take in int x int y int width and height and at the beginning category category uh, import that from your module and then we'll make all these variables up here And then public boolean dragon. Just set all these in the constructor. And set this dot tracking to false by default. Okay. So now we're going to make a render method for this. Uh, we'll just make a take in matrix stack, matrices, and float. Um, hold up, let me check. Okay. Um, int mouse x, int mouse y, and float delta. Import the matrix stack, and then we'll make public void mouse clicked, and then we'll do double mouse x, double mouse y. I don't know why they changed it from int to double between the two methods, it's kind of silly, in my opinion, but... Anyways, an int button. Okay, so now... We're going to make... Hold up. Oh, 
Oh, actually, no. Make that private. Um, then we're going to go here and make public, no, nah, private list frame frames. Import that from Java Util list. And frames equals new array list for category category out of category dot values. Okay, port array list too. We're going to do frames dot add new frame. And I'm going to make an int offset on for the X and we'll start it at 20. Okay, so we'll do as we see here the constructor we're getting category, then offset, then we'll do let's just say like 30. And for the width, I'll just do 100. Height, I'll also do 30. And what was the last one? Ah, oh, that was it. Hmm. Oh, I imported the wrong category there. Make sure you import the one from your modules not from the locale. Okay. So that should be good. Oh wait, then we do offset plus equals, we'll say 120. So there's accounting for the 100 width and then adding 20 pixels in between. And then I do four um, oops. For frame, frame out of frames. Frame dot render. And then for frame, frame out of frames. Frame dot mouse clicked. So now we're gonna come back here and we'll just say drawable helper dot fill just to draw a rectangle and we'll say x y uh, x plus width y plus height and for the color I'll just make it white for right now and then we're also going to um drawable helper dot draw with shadow let me see okay um private minecraft client mc minecraft dot client dot get instance mc dot text renderer and then oh wait not from here just mc dot text renderer dot draw with shadow I want this one category dot to name name Okay, then we'll do just x plus 2, y plus 2, and we'll set this to color dot black dot get RGB. Okay, and then I'm gonna go to here and in the on tick, or actually I'm just gonna go into on key press. If 
key equals glfw.glfw underscore right shift mc.set screen click gui.instance. So now we can see what's happening. Just gonna. Okay. Um. If I click right shift, you can see we've got these little things here. So that doesn't look the best <laughs> right now, so I'm going to go back to frame and or click GUI and set the height to like 25. It's not going to update right now because we'd have to restart, but <laughs> as you can see we've got these little things. So I'm just going to close out of game and then I'm going to go to mod and I'm going to go to category and I'm going to make a constructor for it and a public string name and just so you don't have to make a whole method to capitalize stuff correctly so just do public category string name dot name equals name so constructors for categories are a little weird oh yeah our constructors for enums are a little weird because when you make one then you have to go to each one of these and then do it like that Then we can go back to frame, and instead of category.name, which is from the enum class, we can do name without the brackets. Okay. So I'm not gonna debug it again just yet because I wanna do stuff first. So I'm just gonna make this red actually so the text is make this white and then this red just so it's a little easier to see the text and then we're going to go and make a new class for module button then public module button module mod module then int offset we're also going to have frame parent import mod and then mod module public frame parent Public int offset. Stop module equals module. Okay. Now we've got all this. We're going to also do public void render. get taken, matrix stack, matrices, double mouse x, double mouse y, float, delta. And then another public void on click, or mouse clicked. I'm just gonna copy it from here, because it's the same thing. Okay, then we're also going to do public boolean is hovered, 
Uh, let's do. These need to be ends. Int mouse x, int mouse y. And then we'll do return mouse x is greater than. Um, it's greater than parent dot x and mouse x is less than parent dot x plus parent dot width and mouse y is greater than parent dot y plus offset and mouse y is less than parent dot y plus offset plus height plus parent dot height. Okay. Now we can also take this and put it in frame. Except we'll just do x remove all the parent stuff. Just gonna find and replace it with nothing. Then get rid of offset too. Okay. So I'm quickly gonna go if it is hovered mouse x, mouse y oh. uh, I'll make these doubles make that in the module button too just so you don't have to cast a bunch of stuff okay so if it's hovered then We'll say dragging equals true. And we're also going to quickly make another int, drag x, drag y. Okay, and then I'm going to make a method called public void update position and double mouse x, double mouse y and if is, if dragging so x equals mouse x minus drag x y equals mouse y minus drag y uh, just cast it to int so now, back up here, we'll say drag x equals mouse x minus x, drag y equals mouse y minus y. Then cast those again. Okay, now we're going to go back here and do frame.update position. So quickly, I'll just check to see if this is all in working order. As you can see, we can drag them now. Except I forgot to add the thing to stop dragging them. So you can just kind of take them all. Okay. <laughs> well, that's a pretty simple fix. Go back to frame. Public void mouse. Mouse released double mouse x, double mouse y, button. Oh, I'm also gonna make this. And button equals zero, cause that's just left click. And if button equals zero and 
dragging equals true. Then dragging equals dragging equals false. So then we're gonna go back to click GUI and then override mouse released. Then do same thing for here except mouse released. So that should resolve that issue. And now we're going to make the module button stuff. So quickly I'm just gonna do ren no, it's a trouble helper dot fill uh, parent dot x parent dot y plus offset parent dot x plus parent dot width oops uh, parent dot y plus offset plus parent dot height and then the color I'll just say new color zero 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 and then one sixty this is just a transparent black color then dot get rgb import color go back to frame just make this protected so I can use it in this parent mc dot text renderer dot draw with shadow we'll say module dot get name not display name just name and parent dot x we'll say plus two parent dot y plus offset plus two I'll make it white Then for module button button out of we're just gonna make that real quick. Um, private list buttons. No, private list module button. Uh, I can't type. Okay, buttons. Then we'll say buttons equals new array list. Java to list. So come over to module manager and we're gonna make a new thing. Public list mod get modules in category 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 then I'll just say list mod category modules equals new array list and I'll say for mod mod out of modules if mod dot get category equals category then return or not no, return category modules dot put up dot add mod and then we'll just return category modules Come back here and do module manager dot instance dot get modules get modules in category. Just use that category button dot buttons dot add new module button. This is shouldn't be module button, but it should be mod. This should just be mod. And then mod.getName. Wait, no. Sorry. Just mod. And then offset. And we'll make int 
offset equals height. So we start it out below it. And then offset plus equals height. And I'm also going to slap this in the constructor and not the render method. Uh, what's wrong with here? Oh. And then add this as the second parameter. Now we can go here and do for module button button out of buttons button dot render and I'll copy that go here button dot oh I'll just call that MB instead so it doesn't conflict with that MB dot mouse clicked and I'm gonna copy oh wait no it's already in there if is hovered and then if button equals zero then we'll do mod dot module dot toggle else oh I'm gonna make setting stuff later but first, we're just going to do that. I'm also going to copy this. And put it here. So if is hovered, then we're, we're going to draw it again. Just to make it look like it's like selected. And this should work, hopefully. Alright screen again and as you can see it looks kind of crappy but we've got our stuff here and if I do that you can see it enables so obviously you don't want it to look like this this is a really crappy looking click GUI albeit functional so we're going to make some tweaks to it to make it look better to start off I'll just go back to module button and I'm going to do an inline if statement right here so module dot is enabled question mark so this is like the if this is the if statement and then if it's true then we're going to say uh, color dot red dot get RGB, else we'll just do white. So now, if it's enabled, it's red. Okay. So, now that, that problem's done, I'll set it to A because there now you can see it better. So now we got that working. Just gonna shrink everything because it's insanely large. So instead of 25, we'll say 20. Just making sure everything lines up correctly. Uh, oops. It wasn't. This is it. Okay. So that should be better now. And I'll just check it again, see how it looks. And that's much better. <laughs> Doesn't look nearly as bad. So I can still enable it, and as you can see, it, hovering stuff's working properly, you can drag it correctly. So now, I'll make extending the frames because usually you can like open and close them so we'll do boolean dragging extended then if is hovered we'll take that if button equals zero 
then we'll do the dragging stuff. Else if button equals one, extended equals not extended. And we'll say by default, this dot extended equals false. And if extended, we only want to render the buttons if they're extended. And you don't want to render, or you don't want to be able to click on the stuff if it isn't extended, so we'll go back here. If extended. And we also want something to indicate if it's extended or not, so we'll just copy this and say plus, uh, no, not in Y, in X, plus width, and then instead of plus two, we'll do minus two, and instead of category.name, we'll say extended, then it's another inline if statement, so if, if it's extended, then we'll show a minus, and if it's not extended, we'll show a plus. So we'll just test that again. Okay, so the positions are kind of off, but you can see we can extend and retract the things. So if it's extended, I can click it, but if it isn't, I can't. So that's working correctly. Now we'll just fix up the positions a little. Uh, this one. I'll say minus like six, I guess. Or actually, we can just do minus two. Minus MC dot text render dot get width. Uh, we'll just say plus because they're pretty much the same width. There, now it's correctly aligned up with that. I also kind of want to make these centered, like on the Y, because I don't like how it's in the top left. So, we're gonna go here, and then instead of plus two, we'll do plus height divided by two and put this in parentheses again minus mc dot text render dot get height or that text font height divide by two I think that should work uh yeah so we'll say the same thing for here. So now it's in the center. And then I'm also going to put the same thing for the width, because I kind of want it to be like offset the same amount. So instead of plus two, we'll do plus that. And oh, I shouldn't. Uh, Hold up. Yeah, that one's correct. And then we'll just subtract that. There we go. So now that's looking a bit better. And we can do the same thing for the module buttons. And actually, quickly and back in frame, I'm just going to make that a variable so we don't have to have that over and over. Int offset, I'll say. Then I'll just control F right there, any instances of that, and just replace it with offset. 
except at the beginning, remove this plus. There. Still working the same. And then we'll just copy this. And then put it in module button 2. Uh, just put it here. And make sure parent.mc parent.height we'll do plus offset uh oh hold up text offset we'll say so we don't get that confused text offset and now they're in the center too. Okay. Well, not in the center, but just there. So, these ones don't have anything else, so... There's nothing there, obviously. So, now that that's all looking good, I guess we can add settings. But nothing has settings as of right now, so we're gonna just quickly do that. But we're also going to need to do a few things in the module class to get settings all worked out. Okay, so first I'm just gonna make a private list setting settings and we're just gonna set it right here to a new array list okay and then I'll just make a few methods so first get settings and then public void add setting 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 settings add setting and then public void add settings just like the it's the setting array that I talked about earlier, or the array dots that I talked about earlier. And then we'll just do for setting, setting, out of settings. And we'll just do add setting, setting. Okay. And that should be it for all of that. So now we can come back. Uh, we'll just go to flight and give it a setting. Say public number setting speed equals new number setting speed and then let me check the constructor, because I haven't seen it in a bit. Uh, so we'll do the min, max, default, then the increment. So in the minimum, we'll just say uh, 0. The max, we'll say 10. Uh, default will say 1, and increment I'll just say 0 0.1. And then add setting speed. And then using the setting would be like mc.player.get abilities.fly speed speed.get value 
and since this is a float, we'll use get value float. And then we're going to have to make some new stuff in the click GUI package. So we'll just say that setting. Make a new package called setting. And then we'll just make a component class just as a sub or a parent class for this stuff. Then I'll just say um, public component int x nah. setting setting button parent public void render just steal that from here. Import all this stuff. Uh, oops, it's not button. It's module button. Import that. And then I'm also going to steal the mouse clicked function. and the is hovered. Uh, I'll take the whole is hovered function. We're gonna modify this in a little. Uh, but then we're gonna make these. Public setting setting public module button parent set them here setting equals setting set parent equals parent and then here we're gonna I'm gonna go here replace here again with parent dot with parent dot parent dot may seem a little strange but that's just referencing the frame and then plus offset we'll do parent dot offset and I'm also going to add the offset parameter to this too So in the Y, we're going to do plus offset from here to whoop, make sure you get it in both of the Y's. Now we'll go and make a new thing. I'll just start with a checkbox. Make it extend component. And then we'll add the constructor. And then we'll do private boolean setting bool set equals boolean setting setting. And then in the constructor, I'll just do this dot bool set equals boolean setting just in case. And override the render method. I'm just going to make all of the classes first and then actually do all the stuff in them just so we can see it on the fly. And 
and then I'll make mode box extends component add the constructor then I'm gonna copy this mode setting mode set and then mode setting render on click mouse clicked then we'll go new class and we'll just say slider extends component oops and then add the constructor oh okay uh public number setting num set equals number setting setting render mouse click and we also need back and component public void mouse released. Copy these so we can override that in slider. And then I'm also going to make a quick little util function uh, private double round to place double value and place if place less than zero or we'll return value big decimal bd equals new big decimal value bd equals bd that's that scale place oh. rounding mode dot half up return bd dot double value oh uh, i imported the wrong big decimal import the one from java math we need to go back to module button public list component components this dot components equals new array list import the correct stuff and then we'll do int offset equals uh, int set offset equals offset for setting setting out of module dot get settings oops import all that okay then we're going to do if setting instance of boolean setting components dot add new checkbox this setting set offset import that I'm gonna copy this wait oh, what's wrong oh Copy this, else. Mode setting, new mode box, and instance of number 
setting. New slider. Then just import everything. Gonna copy this. Make mouse released. I want to test all of them, so I'll just also add some more. Public Boolean setting. Uh, I'll just say test bool equals new boolean setting check I'll just set that to true public whoop, I messed that up public mode setting test mode equals new mode setting uh mode uh test 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 two test three okay i know nothing looks good right there but uh i don't really care because it's just testing stuff so uh, change add setting to add settings and then add the test bool and test mode. So now we can debug this. Nothing's gonna have changed as of now. So that's where this comes in. A close component, module manager, and just a bunch of stuff we don't need. Let me open this back up. I'm gonna go for component component out of component component dot mouse released copy this uh, mouse clicked none component dot render Matrices and delta. Else if button equals one, we're gonna do frame dot update buttons. This is a method that we're about to make. So, oop, not frame parent. Sorry. And then create that method. Do int. Offset equals height for module button button out of buttons button dot offset equals y plus offset. Offset plus equals height. I'll go back into module button real quick. Public boolean extended. We'll say this dot extended equals false. Oh, gotta terminate that. I'll save this. If button dot extended for component component out of button dot components if component dot setting dot is visible offset plus equals height. Okay, so that should all be good. Just gonna relaunch the game. Okay, come back into here, here, and if we extend that, ooh, that's not going the right way. Oh, okay, so come back into module button and do in this, uh, 
where it's just parent to update buttons extended equals not extended I forgot to do that so now it should be doing that except that is kind of weird uh, actually I think we can just start that at zero there we go so that's all lined up this might look kind of weird, but this is just where the three settings are going to be. So, we can go back into here, do like what we did. I'm going to take this from module button. So we can see this. Parent.parent. .parent. Again here. Just copy paste that everywhere. And that's good. Okay, so I forgot to do that. Back in module button again. If extended. We only want to render it if it's extended, so just do that. And then back in checkbox, we'll do plus offset, or plus parent dot offset, plus offset, then plus parent dot offset, plus offset. And now you can see it's in the correct spot. So we'll go back here, uh, protected mc.text renderer dot draw with shadow. I will say bool set dot get name plus a little colon plus bool uh yeah plus bool set dot is enabled I just want to see if that's correct or not it's just going to be on the position of the mouse right now because I okay yeah I'm just going to take these coordinates again Uh, or actually I really just want that. So we can go back here. Text offset, and then parent dot parent. Uh, we got our own MC, so. There. Then we'll do parent dot parent dot x plus text offset parent dot parent dot y plus plus parent dot offset plus offset plus text offset a lot of offsets so now we can see that the check setting that we had there is rendering. It doesn't do anything and you can't click it right yet because we need to add the on click function, the mouse clicked function. So here we're going to do bool set dot toggle and we'll see if this works. I forgot. Uh, if is hovered and button equals zero then we can do bool set dot toggle okay so now that's working correctly in the same correct spot so now we can do that for the mode box. I'll just 
copy everything in this method and paste it here except mode set mode set and instead of is enabled we'll do dot get mode so now I can see uh, that's not stacking correctly okay I found the problem I forgot to increase the offset here so back in module button make sure to do set offset plus equals height or parent dot height okay so I'll have to restart it for that my apologies didn't mean to do that but while I'm waiting for that to load we can go back in here and do on mouse clicked if hovered is hovered and button equals zero then uh, mode set dot cycle okay and then so we've got that yes I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this too over to slider place and we'll just say one for the place check it again movement flight and now we can see everything here so the only thing not working as of right now is just the speed but everything else works if we do the mode we can cycle through all the modes we can click the check and now we just gotta do lighter. So we're gonna need a, another boolean for this. So we're gonna have to restart it. Sliding equals false. Terminate. Okay. I'm gonna copy this. The slider is a lot more difficult than the, the everything else. Uh, let me do this. I'll do. Whoop. Color dot red dot darker. Uh, actually, I'll just do color.red to get RGB. And then... We're going to do... Hold up. Uh... Render... Int render width equals parent dot get parent dot parent dot width times oh, didn't need that times num set dot what I'm set to have get value minus num set dot get min divided by num set dot get max. Uh, 
minus num set docket min. Then we'll take this whole giant thing and cast it to an int. So right here, instead of parent.parent.width, we can just do plus render width. Go back into here, open flight, and as you can see, it's back there because it's not full. Now, we're going to go here, if sliding. Uh, and we're gonna make another thing. Double diff equals math.min uh, parent.parent.width and then math.max zero mouse x minus parent.parent.x if if equals zero, then num set dot set value num set dot get min oops get min else uh num set dot set value round to place um, we want diff divide by parent dot parent dot width rep then parentheses and then multiply it by max. Oh, sorry, num set dot get max minus num set dot get min. And then add num set dot get min. And then we'll just round it to that place. And we'll also do the same for right here. And for mouse clicked, up, oh, hold up. I might have done something wrong. Ah, uh, okay, two. Okay, I don't know what I did wrong. I think I just had a parenthesis in the wrong place. I'm just gonna put that in parentheses just in case. Okay, so in mass clicked, go if is hovered, then we'll do sliding Sliding, sliding equals true. So now, if we go back, we can slide the slider, and we also need to do in mass released sliding equals false. So now uh, we're not calling that, I guess, right now. Yeah, so make sure you do four module button uh, MB out of buttons in frame on in mouse released MB dot mouse released. So now can do that and set that to whatever our heart's desire is. And uh, that is way too fast. Don't want that. 
So a bug that I just noticed is that uh, if you do this, uh, you can see that is not correct. Uh, so to fix this, we're just going to quickly go into here, into frame, remove the Y plus in that, and in offset, when you set it initially, just set it to height. And then if we just open it again, we can see that it's fixed and everything works. But, that's how you make a click GUI. I know this is a really long episode and uh, the click GUI doesn't look the best, but I'm hoping that you guys can use whatever skills that I've taught you to make it look how you want with the skills that I've taught you in this video and the HUD one and yeah, it's really just about changing colors and drawing rectangles wherever you want them, so... Yeah, this is the main part of making the click GUI that's just not fun at all. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching all this way through, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.